Hello, creative friends. It's Eugenia from Art Metal Tammy's Atelier, and today, finally, I will make the Halloween uh, picture that I promised a few uh, uh, days ago. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna be using my pretty excellent uh, paints um, that I just reviewed um, a couple of days ago, and um, for paper. I'm going to be using the, uh, what's paper I'm using, uh, the, I think it's second, the art spectrum, uh, yeah, this one, it's the art spectrum, um, watercolor paper, uh, it is the 60% cotton, 300 GSM, uh, A5 size, a rough, uh, it, it, it's the rough one. Um, I actually like very much the texture. It is um, it's kind of <laughs> how can I say it? Hilly. It's not um, it's not like woven. It's more like um, bumpy, and I, I just like it. Uh, I thought it would be interesting now with the pumpkins and. Um, yeah, so I, th I thought to, to try it again. I haven't used it for a little while. So I've got my uh, colors ready. I'm going to just spray them to reactivate. They reactivate very fast, so there's no need to have them wet for too long. I've got a little palette here. I could be using the lid, but because it's in, I haven't used the lid yet, it's pretty clean. I'll leave it like that. <laughs> Um, yeah, plus I've got this little porcelain uh, palette that I think it's it's a good size for this pa painting. Um, so the pictures, unfortunately, I cannot um, put them on uh, online because they are not my pictures. Actually, the the pumpkins it's just my arrangement. I just made them. Uh, by myself, uh, but the card it's uh, a picture from uh, an artist free reference uh, group that I belong to so uh, I can use it uh, for my art but uh, I cannot actually post the actual photo so I cannot do that but I will uh, attach the sketch on my uh, on my description below and you can go and um, download it if you want it for reference for your sketch or even to just print it and start uh, painting so uh, the other thing that I would like to mention before I start is uh, the light consider the light um, because I don't have a photo for the uh, for the pumpkins, I have to work out where my light is coming from. Uh, so, the according to the card photo, that's I'm gonna start is my main reference. Uh, the, the light hits on this area, which means the light is coming from this direction. So I have to keep it in mind when I'm making the pumpkins that the light hits this side of the pumpkin and this is going to be the shadow this side of the pumpkin and here is going to be the, pump, the, the shadow to remember that I just uh, got my sharpie and I made little arrows here on the masking tape just to remind me that the light comes this way um, probably because sometimes I can start a project and go ahead later on or even while I'm, I'm painting, uh, sometimes I'm thinking something else, I'm concentrating too much on the on the colors or something different, and I forget all about. Then I say, "Oh well, where's the light coming from?" <laughs> uh, anyway, it's a good thing to uh, to have it uh, as a beginner. So uh, now I'm going to start with the pumpkins the background and I will leave the cut for the end because he sees the it's gonna be a black cut so it's gonna be the most um, dominant color and I won't start from here uh, I want everything else first and then 
put them go ahead with them uh, with the cut so i'm gonna just um pause it for a minute because i forgot to take the photo for your sketch <laughs> and i will continue in a second okay so we have the two jars of clean water my clean paper uh, towel uh, obviously i've got my uh, swatch here so uh, i know exactly what colors i have and uh yeah i don't think i'm gonna use this tag but i'll keep it here maybe for the background i will definitely use my uh, my liner and uh with other brass i will probably can't be too big it can be oh, i think i'm gonna just get um what's my size six and i have a size six that's an eight that's a ten oh unless i put it somewhere else um okay i'm gonna just grab this size eight uh, I was convinced that I had this size 6 somewhere, but can't find it. Strange. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, the size 8 will be fine too. Just some, I'm just checking the edges. Sometimes they they roll there. <laughs> I don't know, the size 8 is fine too. Okay. So, um... Let's start with the pumpkins. Also, what else I thought is um, the other planning that I did is the the colors for the pumpkins. So I just thought to make them all different uh, colors. So I thought of do this one light orange, this one darker orange, this one lighter green, lighter orange, darker green, and darker orange. So I just done a little. Um, schedule here just to remind me <laughs> the colors i'm gonna uh, generally use okay and let's start it um, these colors are very very bright so i have to be careful and i'm not gonna have to mute them a little bit because uh can't have them too bright they're gonna just be on my face <laughs> so uh, I use some cadmium yellow cadmium orange and then I just a touch of yellow okra and um, this one is it sienna Yellow sienna, yep. Okay, and the light is coming this way, so the light is coming this way, so we make sure that the darker side is gonna be this side. And normally, I I don't leave the graphite on, but this time uh, hmm. I didn't take off my graphite. That is not such a good thing, right? And of course we can add or minus as much color we want to achieve the tone that we want. Oh, 
we're probably going to be going over it again. So that was a light orange. This is going to be a darker orange. So I am going to put a... Uh, oh, it's okay. I forgot. I, I suppose to get rid of some graphite first. And I'll put water there so I cannot touch it. <laughs> but let me get rid of some graphite wherever it's still not wet. I probably should have used my watercolor pencils, but I didn't. Kind of forgotten. Okay, so now that's much better. Uh, for the cut, because this is going to be black, it doesn't bother me at all to leave the graphite on. <laughs> That's all good. So let's um oops. It's a little bit too okay, this is very pumpkin-y. Maybe I'll just lift a little bit color wherever we think that the light is going to be hitting, and obviously, we'll have a problem here with the graphite because it's a very bright area. But, um, yeah, what can we do? I didn't think of it earlier, early enough. So which means that from my mistake you we you will learn something and you won't repeat it. Make sure you get rid of the, the most of your graphite before you start. No, I always do that. No, I don't know why I didn't think of it. Anyway, um I well, can always work a little bit with it. Let's put a little bit um, yellow okra mix that they have here. Because um, the okra is more uh, opaque, so it covers a little bit. So if I put that, it might might not show as much as graphite it might show it's like as a deep color yeah, there's always a way around um i won't put that ochre on this side because it's um it doesn't really match i think burnt ochre would be more suitable on this side that it's the the darker side of the pumpkin this or the shadow Because we don't want harsh lines, just spread the color. Just smoothen it. With a very, very, very dry brush. I'm not dipping in any water, I'm not dipping in only with color and whatever moisture my paper has. Unless it gets really dry, then I will dip it a little bit.
Okay, now I'm with a little bit more water going in to spread the color. And whoops, yeah, I didn't want to put more color there, I just wanted yep, the same uh, brightness. I, I, I want bright on this side of the pumpkin and a little bit on this side too. great with these colors they they're lifting amazingly <laughs> see where i lift it uh not now uncovered them lines the graphite lines so that's why i'm going back Possibly I should um, just put some uh, just put a touch of green. The yellow okra. And that's the stalk too. Now that it's dried up, um, this yellow or light um, orange pumpkin, it's it's very flat. I think I need to put a little bit more uh, darker color on this side. So I'm just gonna mix a little bit uh, cadmium orange and okra, and I'm gonna just go in and off a bit bit watery uh, color though I'm gonna just go over it like that and after with just wet brush with no color just smooth and so that was a little bit glazing and now we can move on to the next pumpkin um the next pumpkin I think uh the thing I've done I think I put too much uh, burnt ombre here maybe i'm gonna come back and i will um yeah I'm, I'm, i might come back and put a little bit let me see if i put a, a little bit cadmium red and mix it up with uh, a little bit uh, okra Hey, I'm getting really nice uh, warm orangey brown that it suits perfectly. I hope it's not gonna change when it dries up. We'll see. still want to keep those highlights here so um, I'm coming back again with only water on my brush great yeah I have to admit it's much closer to what I have in mind Oh, 
okay let's move on to the next time king so i will continue like this uh, i will put some music and um once i finish the pumpkins i will come back and talk to you for the cut
So this is the point now <coughs> that I have uh, completed uh, my cut um, or almost completed, very close to and put a little bit more dark some uh, little areas <coughs> but the main uh, work is done for the pumpkins and the cut uh, and now I am wetting uh, the background uh, carefully not to wet uh, the rest of the picture and I'm going back into my uh, wells with uh, whatever color I used and I'm just dropping it here and there very loose and watery so I'm going to be using basically the colors of that I've used in general some splatters uh, definitely don't want splatters on my cut though so a little bit orange a little bit green like a nice green um, and that's about it I'm not going to uh, do a lot with the background oh clean same and then <laughs> on the nose now <laughs> we don't want the green on the nose uh probably i should have covered the card but i'm pretty much confident that i can be careful So now I think I'm uh, very close to um, have completed my little uh, painting. Um, it's not many areas that uh, I would be maybe a little bit more dark here just to make the base of the terracotta pot to go a little bit more further in. Um, Oops, maybe this is a little bit too dark. And now it's a little bit too light. <laughs> okay. <coughs> and um, it's pumpkin, I think it's fine. Uh, I just want to make a little bit. Um, this area a little bit more darker the base of the pumpkins And that's about it.
Yeah, there we go. That's it. I think it is um, a good time now to clip the way it is. <clears throat> I'm just worrying that I'm going to start overworking it soon. So I think that's a good time now to put my brush down. Um, and I'm saying it and I never do. <clears throat> so these key points uh, here and there that we need to uh, make a bit darker just to make our picture uh, pop up um, so wherever it's like a, a little um, meeting of two objects we make it always darker and that will make our object to come forward. Okay, I think I have done enough. And it is time to unmask it. <laughs> right. My fairy part. Great. This this time nothing is stirring with this paper, but it has buckled a little bit. So I hope you enjoyed this um, little tutorial, and hope that you have um, <coughs> paint with me <laughs> along with me. Uh, it's a fun uh, thing. The Think. oh my gosh it's late at night by the way now i'm uh, recording and yeah you will hear probably a few funny things <laughs> yeah it's um it's a fun subject to uh, paint a uh, halloween one yeah <laughs> uh, i always enjoy painting something um seasonable uh, let's put my initials right here the corner It's not dry 100% and my sabi doesn't cover, but it did. Okay, <clears throat> so that's it. We're done for today. Uh, hopefully you enjoy this uh, painting and uh, I hope that um, you will give it a go. Um, yeah, as I said, I have attached the... Uh, the drawing uh, at the description so if you feel like go there and and, and get the, the drawing even for reference to make your own drawing or just to use it for painting straight away it's up to you uh, I always um, encouraging that to try to make your own drawings because um, every time we try, we we get better. Drawing is very, very important. Without drawing, we cannot get a good picture. So, I always advise to uh, try to give it a go. Um, to make your own drawing. But you might need uh, it as a reference. Use my drawing. That's fine because I, I haven't put the the photo. As I said, I, I couldn't put the photo, the reference photo that I used because it's not mine. And um, so yeah, you can do that. And uh, um, here, let's just put a little bit. Um, maybe not. No, the light comes from this side. So yeah, I think I think it's it's good. I, I shouldn't touch it much. So thank you very much for joining me and uh, watching my video, my Halloween video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and um, 
um, if you liked it please don't forget to thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't um, and hopefully we'll see you soon at my next video till then be happy be creative and keep painting bye for now